I don't think that we feel the same level of respect, um, certainly that FIFA has for the men and, and just in general. Um, but that's good to hear about the investment piece. We should probably double it, but we can get to that later. It certainly is not fair. Um, we should double it now and then use that number to double it for, you know, or quadruple it um, for the next time, obviously. Um, I mean, I think that's what, it, that's what I mean when we talk about do we feel respected, um, you know, earlier in the year, or maybe it was last year, um, a quote came out that I said, you know, FIFA doesn't care about the women's game. And that's, that's what I mean. So if you really care about each game in the same way, are you letting the gap grow? I'm not saying that our prize money is $450 million this time or next time around. Um, you know, I understand that um, for, you know, a lot of different reasons, um, the men's game financially is far um, advanced than the women's game. But, I mean, if you really care, are you letting the gap grow? Are you, I mean, are you scheduling three finals on the same day? The, the brain power is all there and the people wanting to work in the women's game and make it as good as we can. It's, it's all there. It's just a matter of wanting to do it and caring enough about it to make it happen. I mean, we're making a World Cup in Qatar happen. That's shows you the kind of care they have about, you know, the men's World Cup, considering all of the issues that are happening there. I think that the women's game has proved time and time again, World Cup after World Cup, year after year, um, that um, we're worthy of the investment and um, that I think that, you know, the quality on the field and the product on the field is there and we just need that, that sort of business step to be um, in line with, with all of the steps that we're making on the field in terms of performance. So for me, I always say that um, it's, it's always money.